Town. I am so glad you're here. My name's Susie. And okay, let's just take this time and celebrate together that it's officially summer. Woo! Yay! How great is that? No more school, no more learning at home. I mean, honestly, it's just time to have some fun in the sun. You know, I'm thinking of summer. I'm thinking of time by the pool. So hey, let's go by a pool right now and play float or sink with Kevin. Kevin will show us an item. You have to guess whether you think it's gonna float when he throws it into the pool, or if you think it's gonna go to the bottom and sink. If you think it's gonna float, I want you to stand up. If you think it's gonna sink, then sit down. Are you guys ready for the first one? Here we go. I love peanut butter. Will it float or sink? If you think it's gonna float, you need to stand up. If you think it's gonna sink, sit down. It floats! It floated! Wow! If you got that right, give yourself a point. Are you ready for the next one? Beans. The musical fruit, the more you eat, the more you toot. Will it float or sink? Thanks. How did you do? Did you get that right? If you did, give yourself a point. Let's do one more. Yummy watermelon. Does it float or sink? If you think it's going to float, you need to stand up. If you think it's going to sink, sit down. you do? Did you get them all right? I know I sure didn't. Well, you know, last week we learned that God has a mission for his followers to tell the whole world about him. That may have seemed like an impossible mission, but today we're going to see that God didn't leave them to do it on their own. He gave them a helper. God always gives us what we need. Our big idea today is... God gives you what you need to live His way. God loves us and He knows exactly what we need, even better than we know ourselves. That is just how amazing our God is. So let's worship Him with all of our hearts. You spoke one word and the dark became light. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. You spoke my name and my heart came to life. I believe it, I believe it, yeah. I wanna sing about it, I wanna scream and shout it.
by my side I believe it, I believe it, yeah I wanna sing about it I wanna scream and shout it from the Bible, Jesus' disciples were determined to carry out the mission He had given them. But before they could begin, they were supposed to wait. Wow, strange plans. Let's see what they were waiting for and what happened next. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story the epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. And now for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Acts, chapter 2, verses 1 through 41. The room was crowded with over a hundred of Jesus' closest followers. They were in Jerusalem waiting and praying, just as Jesus told them to do. Now, just before this, Jesus had gathered his closest friends on the Mount of Olives. He instructed them to tell everyone about him from Jerusalem to every nation on the earth. But Jesus told them they weren't on their own. He said they should go and wait for the Holy Spirit, the helper that He would give them to carry out this important mission. But then, right in front of their eyes, Jesus was lifted up into the sky and taken to heaven. So here they were, Jesus' followers gathered together, spending time praying, and the room was still. They tried to make sense of how Jesus wanted them to tell everyone about him. But how could they possibly do it? Suddenly, a sound came from heaven. It was like a strong wind that was blowing and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like fire in the shape of tongues, and the flames separated and came to rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit. And then they began to speak in languages they had not known before. Now at this time, there was an important feast in their town, and people were there who spoke different languages. The Holy Spirit gave the disciples the ability to speak in the visitor's language. So Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, shared the story of Jesus with thousands of the Jews who were gathered in Jerusalem. 
he told them of the amazing miracles Jesus did and how he died on the cross for their sins, but now is alive. And he said they could receive the Holy Spirit too. And that day, 3,000 people decided to follow Jesus and were baptized. With the help of the Holy Spirit, Peter and the disciples were already beginning to tell the whole world about Jesus. I love how the Holy Spirit gives us just what we need. He certainly gave it to the disciples when they needed it. God has always had a plan to send a helper. In the Old Testament, people had to go to the temple to be near God's presence, and they weren't allowed to be directly next to Him. But then Jesus came. He made the way for us to have a personal relationship with God. And because of Jesus, we have the help of the Holy Spirit. Once the disciples received the Holy Spirit, the mission of Jesus began to happen. The Holy Spirit gave the power for the disciples to do what they could have never done on their own. God knew that we would need the Holy Spirit to help. We don't need to rely on ourselves to live God's way. Whew, you talk about taking the pressure off? So remember this, God gives you what you need to live His way. It isn't easy to live God's way. God knew that we would need His help, so He gave us the Holy Spirit. Guys, this has been so true with me. There have been times that I have felt so afraid and there was nothing I could do on my own. But when I asked the Holy Spirit to help me with my fear, he gave me what I needed so I didn't have to live in fear anymore. When things get tough, we don't have to rely on ourselves. When we believe and put our faith in Jesus, we receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And the Spirit helps us follow Jesus with the choices we make every day. Let's pray and thank Him together. Oh Jesus, I'm so thankful that you sent us the Holy Spirit, the gift that we needed so that we would have the power to live your way. God, I am so thankful that we don't have to do this on our own, but you knew exactly what we needed. So when we need your strength, God, help us to call out to you. Thank you for being such a loving, faithful God. We pray this in your name, amen. I am so thankful we can learn more about growing up God's way together. And I hope you remember when things get really hard in your life, when you find yourself up against some real challenges, trust Jesus. If you believe Jesus, you don't have to do it alone. You have the Holy Spirit to help you. Well, it's time for Small Group with Katie, and I can't wait for you to see how God can use what we learned in your life today. Hello, everybody. I'm Katie, and I cannot wait to do today's Small Group activity with you. But first, let me tell you how much I loved seeing all of your creative ways to tell others about Jesus. It was awesome. Now let's get started. Today we learned that God gives us what we need to grow up His way. So check this out. This represents our lives. Let's see. Hmm, looks pretty good and clean and living God's way. But let's be honest, sometimes that's really difficult to live God's way. It can be hard to always use kind words. Or it can be really hard to wait patiently. It's getting really messy in our lives. We don't look so good. Let's see, it can be hard to find joy in our life every day. And for me, sometimes it is really hard to show love like Jesus did to somebody that's different than myself. Or maybe that's hard for you too. Wow, look at this. We've made a mess of our lives doing it our way. 
It isn't always easy to live the way that God wants us to live, but God knew that we would need help. This is going to represent the Holy Spirit. Now, watch what happens when we have the power of the Holy Spirit to help us live His way. <gasps> That's amazing! With the Holy Spirit inside of us, we can make the wise choice and grow up God's way. He gives us the power. So just remember, God gives you what you need to grow up His way. So when it seems hard, remember He gave us the Holy Spirit and He will always help us. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.